Maybe the answer is number four, five and six. I made the number into a triangle and a rectangle, and number six into a square and a rectangle. Work on number seven and eight. I'll come right back. All right, and here are the answers for number seven and eight. Number seven, I have a square in the middle and then the two rectangles on the side. Add them together, it's ten inches squared. And then the heart, I change it into a complete triangle and use the height as the eight centimeters and the base as the eight centimeters, which is right here. I got thirty-two centimeters squared. Number nine and ten, pause the video and come back with the answers. All right, the answer to nine and ten is forty centimeters squared and sixteen point five inches squared. Now, again, those are just my estimates, so you could have something similar, kind of close, um, and that's okay. Especially for number 10, I kind of estimated what I thought the base for this um, ice cream cone would be. I made it three. Maybe it could be two and a half. Maybe it could be two. Who knows? Uh, remember, this is just estimating, so we could have a little bit different answers, but they shouldn't be super far off. All right, so now fill in the charts for 11, 12, and 13. Pause the video now. All right, and here are my answers for 11, 12, and 13. You can pause the video if you'd like to look over my work. Again, these are just my estimates. I think they're pretty straightforward on here. Um, but you can check and see what you think. Number 14, Heather solves exercise 11 by subtracting the area of two triangles from the area of a large rectangle and finds the answer 105 square inches. How does Heather's answer compare to your answer from exercise 11? So she did 20 times 6, get 120. And then she found the area of 6 times 5. I see what you're saying. And then divide by 2 is 15. And then she did 120 minus 15, so she got the 125. The 105. I think that her answer compares to our answer um, very well because we got 105 as our answer too. At least I did. It's just that she took it like this. She had this. And she took these two pieces. This one and this one. And knew if she took them and combined them, it would make this shape, which is the same as that one. So, um... That's why ours is so similar. Number 15 says draw an irregular figure and then write a problem about your figure. Um, you can work on that on your own. And how can you estimate the area of an irregular figure? So basically, you need to divide it into shapes or separate it into shapes and find the area of each of those individual shapes and add that together. Sorry, my voice has just gotten worse because I coughed. All right, that ends our Inquiry Lab. Thank you so much, guys. I hope you have a good weekend or have a good day. Take care. See you in school.